The Boy Scouts usually teach you how to tie knots or maybe start a fire, but one Boy Scout decided to take his survival training just a little bit further. Nicknamed the Radioactive Boy Scout, David Hahn at the age of 17 attempted to create a homemade nuclear breeder reactor in his mom's backyard shed in Michigan. He was fascinated with chemistry from a young age and spent most of his early years conducting amateur chemistry experiments, which would often lead to small explosions panicking neighbors. Throughout his childhood, he collected raw elements of the periodic table, taking an often peculiar interest in those of radioactive nature. He amassed radioactive material like americium from smoke detectors, radium from clocks, tritium from gun sights, and thorium from camping lanterns. Using a block of lead as the casing, he bored out a large hole to hold the radioactive material and used lithium from batteries he purchased to purify thorium using a Bunsen burner. His reactor progressed into potential functionality. Han would often pose as an adult scientist in letters to gain the help of professionals and often to get access to otherwise restricted samples of radioactive isotopes. At the pinnacle of his conquest into the construction of the nuclear reactor, his homemade breeder reactor started emitting dangerous levels of radiation, nearly 1,000 times the average background radiation. It never came close to reaching critical mass, but Han began to dismantle his experiments quite quickly. In a random encounter, actually, the police discovered his activities, which eventually caught notice of the FBI and the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. In 1995, the EPA even declared his mom's house a Superfund cleanup site. Han's mom feared that the EPA was going to take her home, so before officials could investigate, she took most of David's radioactive material and dumped it in the trash for disposal at the local dump. Officials didn't become aware of this until long after the cleanup had started. So, unfortunately, nothing was done to prevent possible contamination from his large mass of material. As for David, he refused medical treatment after the incident and was never charged with a crime. The rest of his life was depressingly troubled with David eventually being charged with larceny in Michigan for stealing radioactive material from smoke detectors in his apartment building. In his mugshot, his face was covered with sores, indicating exposure to large amounts of radioactive material over time. After a 90-day stint in jail, Han was evaluated for psychiatric problems until his death in 2016 due to alcohol poisoning. The life of the world's only radioactive Boy Scout was particularly troubled, but it makes for an interesting mark in the history of amateur nuclear research, not typically a term that you casually hear. At least to the knowledge of the general public, no other incident has ever occurred around somebody creating their own nuclear reactor. <laughs>